Hello everybody, this is Dreaming Up back for the finale of the Jurassic Tussle Tournament and a small update to this video. I am not doing a third place playoff match between Lexovasaurus and Decreosaurus because there's not, there's, well, there's no real point in doing it. So I am scrapping third place matches in my mini tournament, so it'll just be the finale in this session. And before we get on with that finale, you know the drill by now, it's time to vote for the next mini tournament. I'm sure you'll be intrigued by many of our many of my fine options here, so I will go through them real quick, just so you get a better understanding of what you're voting for. Okay, so here are your five options. So up first we have Kakashin Clash. This will basically be a tournament involving all the dinosaurs that were released during the Kakashin era. And when I say released, new, newly released during the Kakashin era. So that's from Kakashin 1st all the way to Kakashin 6th. So things like T-Rex, which is in Kakashin 6th, will not count. Because T-Rex was didn't originate from the Kakashin series. But things like Satiosaurus will be included. Because they, were, they debuted during the Kakashin era. Up next we have the Fierce Fossils Tournament. This tournament is basically all the revival types in the game, and this will also most likely include the revival types that never got printed, like Shunosaurus, Yangchungosaurus, stuff like that. Up third, we have an African Assault tournament. Pretty self-explanatory, it's basically all the dinosaurs that were from Africa. European Brawl, which again, like the Af African tournament, is another continental theme tournament. With all the dinosaurs being from Europe. And last but not least. We have the Orange Onslaught Tournament. This is basically a tournament. Involving all orange dinosaurs. Or dinosaurs with some level of orange added to them. So an example off the top of my head. Would be Polacanthus. Which I think is the most orange dinosaur in the whole game. <laughs> so yeah. They are your five mini tournaments to vote from. Link down below in the comment section. I will pin it. And yes, without further ado, let's conclude the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. Right, the O then. In the red corner. We got it. We got the man, the myth, the legend. It's Brontekins. Brontekins not disappointed in this tournament. Showing why he's the favourite. And I'd probably say a strong favourite to win this match as well. Can Brontekins seal the deal? It will... Well, it shouldn't be too tough. Because in the blue corner, we got the Kamarasaurus, who has done very well to get this far. Defeating... Well, actually, if you think about it, he's had kind of an easy-ish run to the fight. He hasn't had to... This is probably the tough... Well, definitely the toughest opponent he's faced so far. Other than that, he's faced kind of like weaker dinosaurs, so... Yeah. Kamarasaurus got a pretty good run. But will his run come to an end? Or can he shock us all and win? Well, with a start like that, no. And in fact, both of these two dinosaurs, you could say, are legacy dinosaurs from the Jurassic. You've got Apatosaurus, or Brontekins, iconic dinosaur from the Jurassic, and you've got Kamarasaurus, which is well known as well. Ooh! And it's the cam again, the Dino Swing! This Dino Swing proved very effective in the semi final against Lexi. And it will probably prove effective again. Look at that. But don't forget, Brontekins does have recovery. Ooh, but he's not getting it off. The camera's in the lead. Can he win it? Yeah, maybe, maybe he can. Oh, nope, nope, never mind. Here comes recovery. Here comes a crit. Brontekins turning it around. Well, you say that. It's, you know, if Kama gets another crit, they can still win this. Nope, no crit. Brontekins gets the hit. Gets, gets the lead. And things not looking good for Kamarasaurus early on in the finale. But, as we all know, it is a best out of three, so it's still time for the Kamarasaurus to turn this around in round two. Okay then, round two. Will Brontekin seal the deal with this round, or will the Kamarasaurus even the score? I tell you what, this camera is quite powerful. 
But can he use that power? That remains to be seen. Alright. Oh, well, there's a Tupu dive. Clarasaurus off to the good start there. Getting an early hit on the board. Whoosh. Oh, that's a tie. First tie of this finale, actually. And ties do favour Brontekins quite heavily because he's got Ocean Panic and he's got the tie attack. But is Kamarasaurus getting the hit so far? Brontekins yet to get going, really. Ooh, but Brontekins gets his first hit then. And actually, I'd probably say a Dino Swing would be enough, so recovery's not going to be a factor for Camera to worry about. Oh, oh, slow, oh, no, nope, no, nope, there's a three. And a one! Camera's chipping away. Camera can he, can the Camera even the score? Well, he's one hit away from doing so, but Brontekins is probably one hit away from winning. Oh, he's not! Well, we are going to get... We, well, things are going to get interesting. The Camarasaurus leveling the score. So it will not be a stomp for Gronky. Well, well, well. I'm sure you all know what that means by now. It's all going to come down to this deciding round. Who will win it? Will it be the Kama or will it be Bronte Kids? Well, round three, our deciding round in this finale. Kamarasaurus definitely making things interesting. But how many times has Brontekins been in this situation in this tournament and have pulled through? Oh, also, in light the news, an amazing thing happened. I finally managed to fix me Cobra tools. And for those of you that don't know, Cobra tools are basically the tools that I use to mod Jurassic World Evolution 1 and 2. I mean, I still can't mod Jurassic World Evolution... Well, you can, but I can't do what I want to do. <laughs> Which is model editing. I can't do that yet. But, now I actually have a genius plan. I'm going to do it in advance. And then when it becomes possible again, I'll have about several different models ready to export and put in the game to make content. Anyway, back to the match. And it is Brontekins in the lead. Not anymore. Ooh, this Futaba Cannon does pack a punch. It could make things interesting. Boosh. Well, recovery won't be a factor anymore now. Blunt the kittens cannot heal with recovery because he cannot survive getting hit by a crit. Oh, but he gets a crit of his own. Oh, this well, wow, this is really tight. I think if Kama gets a hit, I think that'll be enough with the Tupu dive. But all Brontekins needs is a tie, so right now, it's in Brontekins' favour. Oh, Brontekins, you've done it! Well, it got hairy, but Brontekins, yet again, showing us why he is the best water dinosaur in this game. Demolished, well, not demolishing the Kamarasaurus, because Kamarasaurus put up a fight, but he beat him pretty good. He beat him pretty good. Hung on in there, got the job done, and wins the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. Well, I think that's the first time that a tourna that a favourite has actually won, a won the tournament. That, that never happens. But yep, yeah, it is Brontekins winning the tournament. And I'm sure he'll probably win plenty more in the future, should he be participating. Right, let's give Brontekins his five minutes of fame, shall we? I wish I used a better picture for Brontekins, but oh well. It's blurry, it's like a blur. But yep, yeah, there is our winner. It is Big Bad Brontekins. Stomping past the Gigant Spinosaurus in round one. A little bit hairy against Camptosaurus in the last 16 round. Comfortably defeating Satiosaurus in the quarters before stomping all over Decreosaurus in the semi. And finally, putting an end to Kamarasaurus' rampage in the tournament to win it all. As for the Kamarasaurus, he did pretty well, actually. Okay, I'd say Armatus. He did get a good win against Armatus. I, w I did forget about that.
But other than that, he hasn't, didn't face too many tough opposition. Lex over Saurus, you know, could put up a fight. Sage Wong and Saurus got a reputation on its side. But yeah, Bronthikins just proved a step too far for the Kamara Saurus. But he finishes in a respectable second place. Well, that is it, ladies and gentlemen. That is it for the Jurassic Tussle Tournament. I hope you enjoyed. It did seem like loads of people enjoyed it, which is really good. Really, really good. And again, as a final reminder, make sure to have your say on what mini tournament I should do next. And until then, this has been your host, and he is signing out. Mm -hmm.